What's good YouTube and welcome to another Arcus video here on my channel. Today I'm going to give you two replays, one against Shadow Evoke and one against Atlas. How this deck interacts in the current meta and of course at the end of the video I will give you a deck profile. Um, I totally changed the game plan of Arcus. I think that every combo variant of that deck is very bad. I opt to go for just a control variant, so Galatea Pass, uh, set Crescendo and drawing into hand traps, which I'm playing a ton of them. And yeah, the next, uh, the, uh, next replay you're going to see how well these interact um, in the current meta. Uh, against Eldritch it's a bit different, uh, Nibiru and Phantasma are completely dead and uh, yeah, I'm going just to start with the first replay. Um, playing against Shadow Invoked, he is start going first and uh, his only hand trap is Nibiru which is uh, kind of bad against me. So he summons Alistar and gets Ashed, on Almirage I'm able to uh, Phantasma. He tries to go for Mekaba and I luckily drew the Crow. To prevent that but he's getting his Alistar back and uh, yeah so he just passes with the Q Gardner and Alistar Nibiru in hand and most likely not getting otk and I could only assume that he's playing the uh, Shadow version so I still opt to go to into Galatea and letting her on field setting crescendo out his board and then pass uh, this was the problem of this game, he drew into Meltdown, I could have negated it, but I already knew he had Alistar in hand, so I hope that he does something uh, wrong. A Shadow Fusion is not able to be negated, uh, so I had to let this go through, and now with Dragon I at least could banish it, but uh, he has so much resources on the field right now, at this point I decided to Nibiru because uh, otherwise he could have just uh, OTK'd me with Barrel Sword and Mikaba because Galatea is not getting destroyed by battle and uh, if he runs over Mikaba with Alistar and her attack halved uh, I get over 2000 damage so this would be game uh, if my opponent sees that but most likely he would uh, yeah but he still has enough plays to just make Construct out my Nibiru uh, Ariel banishing all my resources in graveyard and having a negation on field which he didn't even uh, need to on the next turn he's just going to uh, summon Winda on my breath effect and this ends my whole turn and this is the moment where I scoop so next game I will start he already has Nibiru as only hand trap again I make uh, some breast plays, go into Galatea, set return instead of um, Crescendo because I didn't want to have a monster that is summoned from extra deck. I have Skeleton in Grave, so as soon as Galatea is summoned from the X from the graveyard, it is not considered as summoned from the extra deck. Now he makes a very weird move. I summon the Gyozo and he Nibiru's immediately, which I find incorrect. Maybe he thought that I don't have another target for my um, uh, for my orchestrated return, but uh, luckily I do have a whirlwind. If not, I would have had just summoned Galatea back and used her then. So now I draw two new cards, drawing Scrappy Cycle as follow up for my next turn. Uh, setting the scythe, and he does a correct move, he immediately goes into the battle phase and runs over Galatea because he tries to play around Crescendo since he doesn't have Meltdown. Uh, he, uh, Ariel tried to banish uh, my monsters right now and I Lanciat had to prevent that. So he added with uh, Winda and Wendy said pass. Um, so my next thought process was I don't have to out the Winda, it hurts him more than me, I just need my Galatea. So what I do is I send Nightmare, um, make Galatea set Crescendo, push the token so I can run over Nibiru. Uh, and yeah, then just set everything and pass and he is the one who needs to link the, gala, uh, the uh, window away. Uh, now he uses Wendy to set Beast, probably wanted to bait my uh, Crescendo and I was fine with that because he's not able to special summon again. I negate his desires, then he tries to link away which can't and this is the moment he scoops 
And now we're going into game 3, which is really interesting. Uh, I ashed the Alistair here. I could have impermanence, but my thought process was I want to keep the impermanence if he summons Winda. So he makes some weird plays here. Now goes into El Shadol, and then he tried to use Alistair somehow, which is not possible because he doesn't have any cards in hand. So uh, Wendy and Beast are uh, Hedgehog and Beast are fine. Now he doesn't have anything, then um, he doesn't have any interruptions in his hand, just two Shadow Monsters, which I didn't knew, I only knew the Wendy in his hand, but I had no other opportunity than to play. So uh, yeah, that Allure was insane. As soon as I normal summoned the Skeleton, I could have normal summoned the Ash if I didn't drew the Skeleton, but uh, that was enough for me to play and this is the moment he scooped them because uh, there was no chance for him to come back in this game. So next is against uh, Itain from my team. We playtested a bit and he played Eldlish but with the zombie package. And this in this game I will uh, start uh, having Armageddon Knight as my only starter and yeah, just make the Shendo pass. Here I will uh, I have to negate the extravagance. Um, he goes into uh, Link Rebo with uh, Gloom, uh, with a Bloom to uh, search uh, for the uh, Golden Lord. That gives me the opportunity to summon Phantasmai, and he does go for the Golden Lord. Uh, so now he searches for a Golden Land spell. Um, he activated uh, the Golden Lord to send Eldor Lando, uh, which I found kind of weird. But uh, now I could just crow him. And he summoned uh, another one with the Black Awakening. Some resources set. And yeah. Uh, in this game I, tr uh, I try to out like his back row. Which summons. And then uh, straight up OTK him. Which didn't go well for me. But uh, yeah. Uh, I tried to bait some inter uh, interactions with the user here. Which didn't work. Uh... So I try now to go into Phoenix, pop one, and next I will try to make Unicorn and shuffle the other one away, but he gets back the Golden Lord, which screw up my whole plan because I wanted to have the Galatea attack Link Rebo and Zero Boros attack him directly for game. Uh, so now I had to go Zero Boros and out his whole board and uh yeah i had to i think i had to the crescendo i said it i don't remember uh, here i just um negated the haquero uh, i don't know why i don't remember why but um yeah on uni zombie normal sum i just banish the whole field and only thing he can do is um banshee and here i bait her out so that he zombie worlds, I summon zero burrows, um, and he couldn't out him, so uh, I just ashed the elixir to summon, and then I was fine. Game 2, I actually had like an insane hand, but it didn't work out that well for me. He got uh, go Eldor Landus again, and yeah, he gained so much resources uh, in this match. And yeah, he's setting so many cards. I should have just twin twisted these two and uh, discarding crescendo because this color by the grave is hurting really much. Like here, I uh, I'm able to um, uh, like I top deck the evenly match, and this is insane for his um, whole f field. And he noticed somehow. Uh, when he, I want to enter battle phase, which was quite obvious, but um, yeah, like uh, hitting my Armageddon Knight was uh, insane. Uh, so he does some plays on evenly pop his own cards so that he doesn't lose uh, too many resources. Uh, yeah, here I should have uh, twin twisted first with crescendo popping the card by the grave and then use return That was a misplay by me and I get punished for that and yeah 
this is uh, lost at this point. Uh, so he top takes the judgment and he has so many resources in his graveyard uh, left uh, which is completely enough to uh, kill me and yeah my normal summon is just getting judgmented and uh, this is the moment I, le I uh, completely lose this game here my hand is really really trash I bricked the first time of so so long uh, he tries to play safe somehow not sending my uh, back row because of crescendo and just setting up a bit and I have nothing else to do than passing and interrupting him as much as I can uh, here goes vampire sucker which is only good with uh, zombie world and uh, and the doom king uh, so I survived this turn and now at the end phase I Twin Twister his whole back row and I can go Gizmak and uh, Normal Summon Skeleton in my turn or rather Brass Bombard. So this was quite cool that I top decked the Brass because I can Anima, take one monster and out his whole field like the, uh, with that. Um, then Gizu Sand, go into IP, summon everything back. And here I uh, yeah have just the opportunity to zero Boros or decay him because there are 24 um, cards vanished and this would make uh, zero Boros uh, 7,800 attack big and with the attack over Vampire Sucker I have game at this point. So this is the deck list. We have uh, three, six, nine, twelve. 15 hand traps main which is very very much but uh, I think this deck needs it like having hand traps that are very impactful like crow is really uh, really strong this format uh, Nibiru is like okay -ish. It's really sucks against um, Adlish which is getting really popular Phantasmai is also debatable you don't have to uh, play him Impermanence is also pretty bad against uh, Adlish um, yeah, but that's like pretty fine. This deck worked out for me the best of all variants, so I would always prefer the um, the, uh, the control variant. And with the uh, Mech Orcus coming out, the Gearzo, this deck uh, gets more starters, so it gets a bit more uh, consistent. And yeah, the side deck is pretty weird. I don't think I would play this uh, Sanctum package. Kaijus are really really nice right now, you could also main Kaijus. But Lancea is good, it's also very good against uh, Eldlish to prevent them uh, setting in the end phase. And this uh, extra deck is pretty standard, you play Crystron if you have uh, Jet Synchron access. Um, Anima is a good uh, link uh, one for level 1s. With Link Rebo, they're both dark and uh, you can uh, out monsters with him. And yeah, just the topologics to out like fields and bots and IP or um, yeah, just unicorn or just banner on your opponent's third turn. Or if you had like pretty well, you can zero bowers on your opponent's turn. Uh, yeah, so this is the deck list. Just try it out. Feel free to give me um, any opinions you have on that. If you have something you would change. Uh, tell me if it worked out for you or if you prefer the combo variant uh, Also feel free to leave a sub on my channel and follow me on twitch yt underscore captain jeff. I will be live uh, almost every day Thanks for watching and see ya guys next time